I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. We say we believe he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary. In every civilized language, the word carne means meat. A carnivore eats meat. Carnival is when you say goodbye to meat at the beginning of Lent. There's no getting away from the meat. The Son of God was incarnated. He became flesh, meat. The idea of religion that most people have is that it's supposed to be dignified and spiritual. It leads us up out from the cares and the imperfections of this world to a higher spiritual plane. Well, Christianity is not that kind of religion. You only have to look at the church's liturgy to see this. The church loves matter in all its varieties. Wine, water, oil, fire, smoke, ashes, palm branches, salt, wax, bread, and meat. Where, you will ask, in Christian ritual is the meat. Look at yourself in the mirror. The meat is you. Let me take an example. On Holy Thursday night, the priest is supposed to wash the feet of 12 people. Now, we might have been satisfied some years ago when, Saint, when Pope Francis was newly elected and we could be satisfied if he had just symbolically sprinkled the feet of the 12 prison inmates. But he didn't. He got down on his knees and physically washed their feet and dried them with a the towel and he even kissed them. During the COVID lockdown, most Catholics watched the celebration of Mass on television because we could not physically be present. But now that the main danger has passed, watching the screen and praying privately is no longer good enough. Our actual physical presence is required. We might be encouraged to make a spiritual communion if we cannot actually receive the host. But that's a very poor substitute for receiving the body of Christ in the form of the actual wafer of bread. When we look at life, the first thing we notice is that we seem to be under two influences. On the one hand, we are the plaything of powerful, irrational animal urges. On the other hand, we possess a certain amount of reason, serenity and detachment. You could say that these two halves of us are spheres of earth, the region of change, decay and imperfection, as opposed to the heavens above, pure, clean, clear, and above all, rational. Whichever way you look at it, there are two sides to us, body and spirit, meat and mind, lower and higher. Whatever anyone may say, we are not pure spirit. We are made of matter. We are made of meat. And a religion that disappears off to the sky and refuses to talk to meat and matter is of no use to us. Christianity has something that anchors it safely and forever. It has a God who voluntarily came down from heaven and united himself to meat. Whenever we seem to be about to get over-spiritualized, the fact of what God did to rescue us reminds us of our meaty nature. And so do the bread, the wine, the salt, the ashes and the oil. God the Son, the Word, became flesh partly because we needed to be reminded of this and even, bef even more because there is no other way to become human. That's what we mean when we profess our belief in the fact that God the Son was incarnate. In the next talk we will consider the fact that he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary. <laughs>